Hey YouTube people, it's John here. Uh, I've got another quick post that I wanted to put up. Uh, I was just online <laughs> going through some entertainment news and I guess it just came out that Boy George, yes, Boy George, former lead singer of that 80s perennial uh, pop group, uh, Culture Club, has been denied a working visa. Therefore, he will not be touring this summer in support of whatever uh, <laughs> he's he's doing a house of blues tour this summer he was gonna do a house of blues tour I had my ticket already <laughs> for his August 7th show at the house of blues so uh, I guess I gotta get my money back uh, <laughs> I just I just thought I'd post that and, and get the word out there you know I would love to have seen Boy George again one more time uh, I saw him a couple years ago Maybe in 2000, I saw him on the Rewind tour when he was with the, all the original members of Culture Club, and he toured with Howard Jones and Human League, and that was an amazing that was an amazing tour package. Um, I would love to see him one more time because it was it was going to be an interesting dichotomy um, contrast because um, next month, July 7th, July 9th, I'm seeing George Michael uh, at the United Center in Chicago, and his ticket was like 250 bucks. Uh, for to see that guy at the side of the stage, you know, and he's doing his greatest hits tour, and he just kicked it off last week, and he's doing raves on his. I've heard great things about George Michael's um, summer tour, so I'm seeing George Michael, you know, for 250 bucks, <laughs> and then on the flip side, George boy George is touring the House of Blues across America, and it's a 45 buck <laughs> ticket. <laughs> So, you know, I kind of wanted to see, you know, Boy George and George Michael in one summer, and I thought it would have been cool, but I guess U.S. Immigration and Visa Authorities has say no to Boy George. Well, apparently, I guess the reason why is uh, Boy George has an upcoming court date um, in London in November, and I think it stands from when he, when all that thing happened, where he supposedly hired a cowboy, and he... Um, tied him up and, and held him against his uh, wishes in his apartment and stuff and this is that whole thing so I guess and I guess until he gets his clear name but clear name cleared up on that issue he won't be coming to the U US anytime soon so I mean uh, the articles out there the news is out there on Yahoo that's where I found it right just a little while ago so I guess tomorrow morning I'll call House of Blues and find out is it true is it there's no boy George coming in August so I just wanted to share my thoughts and my disappointment. Oh God, I'm gonna sit and I guess see Boy George this summer. <laughs> Trust me, I've got like enough '80s acts that I'm seeing this summer or, or this year, basically. You know, I'm seeing Boy George. I saw The Cure a couple months ago. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm seeing Madonna in October. Pat Benatar and someone else is at the House of Blues. Tina Marie. Pat Benatar and Tina Marie are both at House of Blues. Yes, is next month also at Chicago Theater. I'll be seeing that. And then there's the Rewind, uh, not the Rewind Tour, but the True Colors Tour that's featuring B-52s and Cindy Lauper. So, of course, that's an 80s act right there. And there's someone else. I think Melissa Etheridge is coming tonight. So, she you know got her hits in the 80s. And, of course, Tina Turner, she got really big in the 80s. She got real popular in the 80s with Private Dancer, so that's also later on this year. So there's plenty of 80s acts for me to catch up this summer and later on this year. So uh, I guess it's it's no go for the boy George. So uh, hope you're all doing well, and um, come back and look for some other stuff on this uh, site. Talk to you then. Bye.